My name is Jimmy and welcome to our channel Crypto Forever. Here I try to introduce you to various projects every day, highlighting their pros while not forgetting the cons. I really hope that from the reviews you guys will be able to take something new for yourself from the crypto world and make right choice regarding investing. Call to Combat is game development in the style of the metaverse and built on the Binance Smart Chain BSC. It was developed by a team consisting of core blockchain technicians as well as members of well-known casual game development companies. This project includes a FPS shooter, its own marketplace and reward for users in BUSD. Let's start with a review of a project with its ecosystem. CDC Protocol CP The CDC Protocol is a financial protocol that enables transactions to be conducted in a manner that is both simpler and more effective. It ensures holders of CDC tokens receive the most consistent profits possible inside the cryptocurrency industry. Additionally, the annual percentage rate APR, for the first year is set at 1000%. The NFT marketplace will be launched. CTT NFT marketplace is a decentralized exchange where players and investors can buy NFT assets directly from a publisher primary market. Publisher sells on a limited amount or collect them from other participants secondary market on one platform. CTCDO reverse CDR. In the CTC protocol, the job that CDR does is considered to be imperative. It offers essential features that are necessary for the development and continued operations of CTC. The purpose of CIF is to aid in the future marketing of the project. Additionally, the CIF may tap to finance brand new products, services, and initiatives developed by CTC. CTC Banking Fund CBF, the Combat Bank Fund, often known as CBF, is a distinct wallet that is part of CTC protocol CP. The CBF makes use of an algorithm that underpins the rewards and is backed by a percentage of buy and sell trading fees that accumulate in the CBF wallet. A portion of the fees associated with trading, both buying and selling, are kept in the protocol, and these funds are put toward improving the protocol's long term viability and liquidity. Also, there are two tokens in the economic portfolio of the project CTC and CT. The Call to Combat Native Token is a tradable representation of attributed liquidity functions that are specified in the protocol and code of the project. Its primary purpose is to operate as an interoperable utility token within the game's ecosystem. Combat Token BAP20 CTC token is native currency in Call to Combat. Combat Token is a secondary token used in the Call to Combat ecosystem for specific purposes. Batches NFT is on the marketplace. Weapon collections, monthly weapon hunt, in-game activities, upgrade items, etc. And the long-term nature of the project is indicated by the locked pools of tokens. In Call to Combat, players must free hostages and kill enemies. Players earn bounty points for completing levels. The player starts the game as a soldier or lieutenant and is handled real-life guns for warfare. Each mission's call are displayed on the HUD compass. Players must complete all objectives to advance. CTC is a game that can be played for enjoyment, is free to play, and can be played to earn money. It's designed for people who have never utilized blockchain technology before. CTC makes a promise that will bring not only a fun gaming experience, but also a decentralized and financial rewarding one. CTC token can be earned by players in a variety of ways, including collecting, battling, and so on. CTC is not only currency that can be used inside the game, but it's also a cryptocurrency that can be purchased outside the game. CTC token and other in-game items, such as real weapons, can all be traded for NFTs on the market. On the marketplace, which I have already mentioned, it will be possible to purchase many different weapons, machine guns sniper rifles, grenades, and handguns. Separately, I want to know that we are perfectly drawn. If you have questions how to become a part of a project, then on September 27th, IGO starts, where you can join it at an early stage, and it seems to me that becoming a user of such a promising game is a good opportunity to get satisfaction from the game and very good profit. But if you don't want to wait, right now you can participate in the airdrop, which is already underway. It is passed by 43% and you should definitely hurry up. If you talk about the security of a project, Venice already has smart contract verification report from the InterFi auditor and is being checked by the trust and well-proven CRTK auditor himself. By the way, the development team will soon undergo QIC verification and a little later, the call to combat cry itself will be checked by CRTK. The development plans are also perfectly distributed. The team has already done a lot 
and I'm sure that the future of the project is simply amazing. The project has very active media resources. The latest news about innovations and change are constantly published there, as well as developers share upcoming development steps. Well, that's it. I hope you were able to fully evaluate the project and already know whether it's worth investing or not.